Capricorn. Welcome to Angel Love 333. We're going to do your love reading today. I hope you're all well, you're healthy, and you're safe. A couple items before we get started. Uh, one, I just want to say that there will be an extended reading link below. If this reading resonates with you, you can check that out. And then two, I do give away free personal readings each month. To enter, you just need to subscribe and like the video. So with that, Capricorn, let's just get started with your reading here. Let's see what messages we have for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? All right, there's one. And there is two. Okay, so Capricorn, your first card out, you have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So... It feels like, Capricorn, you and somebody here is going to have a very honest conversation, all right, about your feelings, okay? Um, can be somebody here that uh, maybe you're dating, could be somebody you could be at a distance with. We'll see how this plays out. You also have here healing family issues. Your love life is being uh, affected. I'm sorry, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I just take this card as a card of healing. I feel there is an upcoming conversation between you and someone here. Now, it can be that um, somebody here in the relationship maybe has some past traumas or past healing that they need to deal with. That could be um, you know, a factor in this connection, um, but it may not be. You also have let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally, and you have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning. Okay, so definitely getting here a past person. Uh, also getting here that uh, between you and this person, there could be some codependent um, ties here or somebody here wanting to control something here in the connection. Maybe somebody's worried or has some fears of getting hurt, but uh, let's pull some tarot and see what additional messages come out for you, Capricorn. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Capricorn in love? What messages do you have for Capricorn in love? All right. You have the Six of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the hangman. You have the ten of wands. You have the knight of pentacles. And it looks like here you have the devil, your energy Capricorn, and the magician. And bottom of the deck here you have the six of pentacles. Okay. Definitely picking up here, Capricorn. I feel there's something here that is, you're definitely struggling with. Okay. Um, it can, I feel it too, it may be that there's a situation, maybe you're feeling a little bit stuck here. Um, also feeling like things aren't in balance. But let's see uh, how this goes. You have the Six of Cups and you have the Ten of Wands. Okay. So I definitely get there is somebody here, somebody that... Um, you have feelings for somebody that you have a very strong connection with. There is some challenges though. I feel like there's some challenges here. I feel um, there is some sort of imbalance here with the Six of Pentacles, okay? Maybe you're feeling that um, there's not equal give and take in the situation, uh, but there's definitely some sort of burden here I feel that you are carrying, okay? Now, it could be you, could be your person. I feel here, too, it could have to do with the past, right? Um, past relationships, past healing. But it can be that it's a, a relationship maybe you're feeling that you're carrying all the weight. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. You also have here Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We're going to clarify you have the Eight of Cups and you have the Knight of Pentacles. Now, for some of you, distance could be a factor, right? The person you're dealing with could live at a distance here. But I also get an energy here of there isn't a whole lot of movement. And it may be that the two of you are in separation because I do feel there is somebody here that is returning from your past. Now, this may be somebody who walked away or you may have walked away from this person. We'll see when we clarify 
And then you have the hangman, the devil, and the magician. Your energy here with the devil. So it feels like... Um, it feels like Capricorn. It feels like there could be some delays here in the situation. You may also feel like you've sacrificed a lot in this connection. But I do see with the magician here, I do see there there is an energy here of a new beginning. Okay, and that may be this conversation I see up here between you and this person. But let's clarify the cards and see where this goes. Okay, I think, ooh, there we go. Got the Empress here clarifying the Six of Cups and the Ten of Wands. We have the Empress. We have the Six of Cups again. And we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, bottom of the deck here, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So we have the Six of Pentacles now to the Seven of Pentacles. I feel what's happening here, Capricorn. I feel that you are manifesting um, the end of a, a difficult time. I feel that if there is somebody here in your life you're wanting to reconcile with, I do feel there's an upcoming conversation. I feel there is definitely potential for growth here between you and this person. It feels like the two of you have a very, very strong connection. I'm also getting here with this Knight of Cups. There is an offer of love here. It's an, it's an energy here of romance. So I feel that through this conversation, this person catching up with you from your past, I feel there's definitely potential for growth right and for the two of you to make an investment here in this connection let's see why the eight of cups and the knight of pentacles is here please why is the eight of cups and the knight of pentacles here please you have the full card you have the eight of cups again okay and the seven of pentacles okay i feel somebody here is taking that risk taking that leap of faith you have the knight of swords so I feel communication, definitely feel communication from somebody here, somebody coming towards you. Uh, it feels, you know, this energy is a fast moving night. Okay, a very fast moving night here. I feel there's some sort of clarity coming in for you. All right. I feel maybe someone here was not feeling satisfied in the connection here. So I do feel like there was somebody here who may have walked away or somebody who was exploring their options, whether this was you or your person. But I feel that things are changing here. You have the Fool card and you have the Seven of Pentacles. Someone's getting ready to take that risk, take that leap of faith to invest time. Some of you, you may have already invested a lot of time with this person, but I do see a new beginning here. I see a new romantic beginning. Let's clarify now, why is the Hangman, uh, the Devil, and the Magician here? Now, these are three major Arcana cards. Okay, so it shows me there's some sort of shift, something happening here. You have the Three of Wands. You have the Seven of Swords. The Hangman again. Let's pull another card here. And you have the Page of Swords. Interesting, Capricorn. And you have the Six of Wands. Okay. I feel like you have other people around you besides this person. Um, I feel like you could have somebody here that is spying on you here. Somebody who is watching you. Somebody who has their eyes on you. I want to say here too, um, you got the Devil card and the Magician. And when these two cards pop up together... I often get a manipulative energy, so there could be somebody around you. I don't feel it's the person here that's coming back around. I feel that there could be somebody else around you uh, who could be jealous or manipulative. I'm getting that energy. And you and I feel here too with the hangman, you may start to see this. Um, let's see here. Yeah, you have the hanging man, the seven of swords, and you have the three of wands. And the Six of Wands here. 
So you may be looking at the potential here of this situation uh, with this person here, this person I see returning. Uh, it could be them that I see that it may be a little bit manipulative. They're spying. Maybe they're being sneaky here, um, you know, before they approach you. I kind of get that energy as well. I do see this person coming towards you, but I also... Uh, it's interesting. I get an energy here of somebody uh, being a bit sneaky or maybe even immature, which is interesting. I feel it's a different energy, though, than I see over here. OK, I see something over here um, that has potential for growth. Someone here from your past and the, the challenges and the struggles are ending here. I feel somebody's taking a risk, taking a leap of faith here. Um, in this connection, investing time here. But I also see another energy here, someone else around you who could be, um, I don't know, doesn't have the best intentions. Okay, Six of Wands. Oh, look at that, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands can be somebody who is, um, can at times be, uh, can be mean here. So I feel like you've got someone else around you, Capricorn. Somebody else uh, that could be jealous, right? Could be jealous of you and this person. Let's pull some more cards and see what additional messages come out for you. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Uh, what else can you tell Capricorn about their situation? You have the judgment card. Yeah, fell right on this person here. I see someone returning from your past. You have the chariot. You have strong Cancerian energy. And you have the Hermit, okay, and bottom of the deck here, yeah, Ace of Cups. I feel like there's going to be a renewal, a reconciliation between you and someone here. But I feel there's also this energy here, okay. Now, it may be... I feel like there may be another energy around you that isn't healthy here. Okay, it's very interesting. You have a Virgo energy here as well. So let's start with the Judgment card. You have the Judgment card, and I feel, you know, definitely see someone here returning from your past. Okay, I feel the end of a difficult cycle here with someone, someone catching up with you. You have the Chariot. So I feel that that one of you, you or your person, somebody walked away in the connection. Things were, were stagnant. But now I see movement forward. This person could even live at a distance from you. Now you have the hermit. I feel like there's somebody else around you. Somebody who could be very attractive. Uh, uh, someone who is very attracted to you. Somebody here I feel that um, is spying on you. Okay. And I get this energy here that someone, there's someone here I feel that could be a bit manipulative, okay? It doesn't have to be a love. It could be a friend, a family, family member, uh, what have you. But I feel that there's something with this that this person's going to make you think. Let's see. Um, look at that. Yeah, this may be another past relationship here, I see, or a Scorpio um, you know, if you had more than one option, because I do see here three of wands. I don't know if you were dating other people. I feel like there was somebody here that you may have had an ending with um, that could be jealous of you and this other person. It could be, you know, the, um, someone jealous, you know, it, it could be anybody here. But let's see here. I don't normally pick up this type of energy. King of wands. Okay. There may be some sort of action you're needing to take with this situation because you do see some some sort of tower moment um, stemming from this situation. So there could be a secret revealed or something that happens. So I would just say, you know, Capricorn, nothing to worry about, but just be careful. I'm just going to say um, this could be some, a relationship from your past that didn't work out, you know, didn't work out well. Okay, so there could be somebody here that... Um, Maybe it's not over the situation. Okay, very interesting energy. But I feel there's this person here from your past that you and this person are going to um, be able to talk and reconcile here. Okay, now this other person I see, this other energy, you know, it could be um, somebody else. Maybe you dated or another ex here. 
um, or someone who is not happy with this situation, okay? And um, But we're gonna see where this goes. I'm gonna take it to the extended Capricorn. I'm gonna look at your person here, what they're thinking or feeling about you, their upcoming actions, love messages and guidance. So I hope to see you on the extended Capricorn. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.